I have a problem and this is what I'm referring to. Luckily, I set aside some time and turned this into this. I've been wanting to do some cable management on my standing desk that I move around my room a lot, but I've been waiting on one thing to come in. That item was a custom bracket for my Mac Mini because all of the Mac Mini mounts didn't include sizes for a hub like the one I have on mine. So I hit somebody up on Etsy and found the right bracket size for me. Before I got started, I spent some time watching other videos on cable management like Edward Lee's video, Sam Beckman's video, and Becky and Chris's video along with many others. From there, I decided to purchase a few things that I thought would be best for my setup. The first thing was the bracket that I just mentioned for my Mac Mini. I think the dimensions were two and three eighths inch wide and then there's three pieces and you screw it to the bottom of your desk. I got a surge protector that has five outlets and three USB ports so I can charge anything or whatever I need to use that for. I got some Velcro. Now you could get just the 3M tape. This is the 3M Velcro version. Um, both of them have their own purpose but I thought the Velcro would be strong enough and sure enough it is. Some cable ties because you can never run out of those and I'll definitely use those more than just for my desk. A cable sleeve or a snake or whatever you want to call it. A lot of people call it different things, but this is just for the one cord that leaves my desk into the wall. And then last but not least, I got an Anchor USB. Anchor is the brand. Um, it's just so I can add more USB ports to my setup. The thing I had to keep in mind is that sometimes I move my desk depending on what's going on. So I wanted to make sure that one long cable was coming off of my desk. One of the first steps was to figure out what side I wanted my Mac Mini to be mounted on, and I ended up choosing the left side so that I could easily access the SD card slot on the hub. The brackets came with wood screws, so I figured out the measurements and I went from there. Once that was installed, I added the surge protector under the desk by using the Velcro strips. Like I mentioned, I could have used the 3M tape, but either way, it'll get the job done in my opinion. The idea of having a surge protector mounted underneath is so that everything is plugged into it and the cord from the surge protector is the only cable that is leaving the desk to the outlet in the wall. After plugging everything in, I unfortunately realized that I needed a few more things. So I Amazon Prime some cable clips a J channel and an extension cord just in case. Once that came in, the only thing that was left was figuring out where I wanted each cord or cable to go. It was almost like this big puzzle, but hey, I like puzzles. The very last step was adding this sleeve, which you've seen multiple times now, and it really just helps protect the cable as it sits on the floor and moves across the floor. And as the wheels from the desk come up to the sleeve, it doesn't roll it over the sleeve or anything like that. It just moves along with the wheel. I'll probably make adjustments in the future, but this is just better than what I had. Uh, I also plan on getting a bigger desk at some point in the future, so that will definitely switch things up a bit. But for now, I am just satisfied. Now, because my desktop is cleaner and emptier, is that a word? And doesn't have as much stuff on it. I may not realize it, but I'm pretty sure that your boy will be more productive. I mean, I feel like most people are when they have a clean workspace. I mean, it wasn't dirty or anything before, but it was like organized mess, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, I am glad that I set time aside to do this though. And I know people will have their personal preference of the way it looks or pure functionality or anything. Some people just prefer that the cables be hidden. Whatever your preference is, that's on you. If there's anything that you would change or that you would suggest, just let me know. Uh, but for now, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.